To get around in our list of plays, we can press the previous and next buttons on our controller. If we want to skip to a specific play, we can press go to live and the play number. Zplay has all the standard transport controls you'd expect from a replay server. I can play back the channels, pause them, scrub around, jog, and play slow motion. We also have discrete control over each channel. Here, I'm going to grab red and shuttle it backwards. We can also gang channels together. I'm going to grab the blue and the gold channel and scrub that one forward. Now you'll see on the play bar that these channels are now separating visually because they're at different points in time. I can grab all four channels and skip those to the current live point. If I wanted to go to a specific time code, I can press shift go to live and type in the time code point that I'd like. The T-bar allows for dynamic playback control within Z-Play. I'm going to roll this play and use the T-bar to slow it down. We have two additional modes on our T-bar. First, the plus minus mode, which allows us to go both forward and reverse, and a 2x mode, which allows us to play at 100% all the way up to 200% or two times. Zplay's four output channels are always active. However, if you have a smaller production environment, you may only be able to connect one of the outputs for replays. In that case, the operator can direct any one of the four channels to that connected output via the built-in switcher function. So here I can send channel B or C or D out through connected channel A. These switches can be cuts or crossfades and the operator can see which channel is actively going out the output through the highlight in the user interface. We've talked a lot about Zplay, but I really want to show you how truly fast it is. I'm going to do that by doing a real-time replay. So play is about to start. I'm going to press Start Play. Before this play is even done, I'm going to hit End Play. Playback has skipped back. Grab control of channel D. I'm going to switch to channel D. Grab control of channel A. Roll channel A, switch to channel A, bring that down into slow motion, tag it, mark the good angles, and add it to a sequence for our highlight package later.